Hi, and welcome to my free six-day mini course on how to build a niche online store. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you a very brief introduction to e-commerce and talk about all the different e-commerce business models that you can choose from. So what are you going to learn in this six-day mini course? First of all, you're going to learn how all the different online e-commerce business models work. You're going to learn how to find and evaluate profitable products to sell online and how to find wholesale vendors who will sell your product at cost. You'll learn how to create a great looking website without any technical experience whatsoever. And essentially, I'm going to be teaching everything you need to know to create a niche online store, including all the setup and how to accept credit cards online. Now, this course is for you if you're a parent who wants to work from home in order to spend more time with your kids. Uh, this course is for you if you want to replace your income and eventually quit your job. This course is for you if you want a flexible schedule to do what you want and spend more time with your loved ones. And this course is also for you if you currently run a brick and mortar store and you want to move the operation online. Now, it doesn't really matter if you don't currently have any products or services to offer and if you're not exactly sure what you want to sell online because I'm going to show you how to launch a profitable online store from complete scratch and you don't need to have any prior knowledge whatsoever. So before we begin, I thought I'd just take a little bit of time to talk about some of the students who have gone through this course, who have gone on to run successful online stores. Now, this particular student, Sandy, is a single mom, and she actually launched her online store in order to spend more time with her child. And so she ended up launching GetUnrobed.com, which is an online store selling personalized bridesmaids robes. And today she makes a healthy four-figure per month salary running her store. Now, this particular student, Sean, started an online store called FineLeatherworking.com, which is an online store that sells leather, leatherworking supplies online. And within 1.5 years, Sean has managed to make over six figures with his online store. And finally, this particular student, Ron, he started an online store, SunnyDecals.com, selling fabric wall decals online. And once again, Sean makes a healthy four-figure per month salary selling his own branded wall decals online. So before we begin, I just thought I'd take a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Steve, and I run the popular blog, MyWifeCritterJob.com, where I write about building wealth and entrepreneurship. Now, I started this whole entrepreneurship thing back in 2007, and I remember that year very distinctly because my wife and I, we were stuck in a rut. Now, we both worked full-time, and we were both making six figures, but here's what our life consisted of. We would work our full-time job, we would come home, we would eat dinner, then we would watch TV for a couple hours, and then we would go to sleep. Next day, go to work, come home, eat dinner, watch TV, go to sleep, and this cycle went on and on. Now, normally, this wouldn't be so bad except my wife just really hated her job. And, you know, every single morning before she went to work, she would come up to me with this really long face and she'd be like, honey, I'm off to the hellhole. I call my job now. Now, if you can imagine, since I had to watch her do this every single day, it was actually quite depressing. And deep down, I knew that she should quit her job. And I knew that we should start our own business, but we just couldn't get the courage or find the time to begin. And then something happened. She became pregnant with our first child. And I remember that day very distinctly when I saw the pregnancy stick because I was super excited, but I was scared at the same time. And the reason is, you know, I knew this was the perfect excuse for my wife to quit her job and take care of the kids full time. But on the flip side, we live in a very expensive area where you pretty much have to have two incomes in order to get a house in a good school district. And I wasn't really willing to sacrifice our lifestyle. And so what we ended up doing is we started brainstorming different businesses that we could pursue, and we kind of stumbled upon e-commerce. And so in 2007, our online store, BumblebeeLinens.com, was born. And this in this store, we ended up selling wedding linens online. Even though things started very slowly for the first couple months, we actually managed to make over six figures in our first year of business, which completely replaced my wife's salary. And so we ended up, my wife quit her job for good as soon as her maternity leave was over, and she ended up just running our business from home while taking care of the kids. So if you look at our lives today, and this is a picture of our lovely family, uh, my wife is just so much happier now that she's running our business. 
She earns a lot more money with our business than with her day job. She only works a couple of hours each day. She gets to stay at home with the kids. She has a very flexible schedule. And the best part is that our business has continued to grow in the double and triple digits ever since so that it actually blows all of our day job incomes out of the water today. Okay, and so that's just a little bit about uh, my entrepreneurship story. And I thought I'd also talk a little bit about my philosophy for entrepreneurship that I'm going to be talking about in this course. First of all, this six-day mini course is not a get-rich-quick scheme. And it's not about starting a large company like an Amazon, a Facebook, or a Google. It's not about working 100-hour weeks to make money. It's mainly about creating a business that suits your lifestyle. It's about creating a business that will allow you to spend time doing things that you love or hanging out with those people that you love. And it's basically a business that increases the flexibility of your lifestyle and allows you to set your own schedule. And I know that for my wife and I, we started our business so that we could spend more time with our family. And so that's kind of the objective of this course. Now, if you are unfamiliar with selling online, I thought I'd just go over some of the advantages of creating an online store as opposed to a physical store. So for one thing, you do not have to be physically present to make money. Uh, by using a computer server who runs your website, your computer can take orders for you essentially while you sleep. And one of the best parts of having a server run your company is that there's very little overhead to maintain a website. And most of the software is actually already written for you. All you have to do is customize the website to your specific business. And you actually have all you have to do really is load up your products onto your online store website. So with that in mind, uh, one of the most common questions that I do get asked is why should I go through all this trouble of starting my own website when I simply can sell on Amazon, Etsy, or eBay? And I have a couple of responses to that. I'm very passionate about this. The companies like eBay, Etsy, and Amazon, they really don't have your interests in mind. Their primary concern is their own growth and their own stock price. They can raise prices at any time. They can change their policies at any time. They can actually change their algorithm to make your business harder to find so you get less sales at a moment's notice. And oftentimes these sites, you know, they're just very vanilla shopping websites. They don't provide any sort of design flexibility. And if you ever shopped on eBay, Etsy, or Amazon, you'll notice that all the listings on their store, they all follow a similar template. And as a result, it's very hard for your business to stand out amongst the rest of the pack. And the fact that every listing looks the same, it actually also hides your brand. Everyone who shops on Amazon, for example, thinks that they're buying from Amazon and not from your online store. And so you're not really building up a brand by selling on these platforms. And the worst part is they charge a percentage of your sales, a significant portion at that. eBay, for example, takes between 11 and 15% of your revenue. Amazon takes 15% of your revenues right off the bat. And the fact that they're taking such a large percentage makes it that much harder for you to make money in the long run, coupled with the fact that they could change their policies at any time, raise their prices, and put you out of business. So that is why you need to own your own website. You don't want your business to be at the mercy of someone else. You want complete design flexibility to express your personality and your business in order to stand out from your competitors. And most importantly, you want to be in control of your own destiny. You want to establish your own brand and essentially future-proof your business. And that's one of the reasons why you need to own your own branded website in the long run. Now, a lot of people who want to start their own business, they're kind of afraid to begin because of the media mainly. Have you ever heard the media say that 9 out of 10 businesses fail? Now this is actually a very common saying and I really hate this saying with a passion because I honestly feel that 9 out of those 10 people, they start their businesses without knowing what to do. And I'm a firm believer that if you know what you're doing and you have the right mentor to teach you, your chances for success are going to be drastically increased. Okay, and so today I thought I'd first start out by dispelling some of these common myths to make you feel more comfortable about wanting to start your own business. So the first myth, of course, is starting a business is too risky. Well, what if I told you that my wife and I started our online store on the side while both working full-time jobs? Essentially, by doing this, we had zero risk because we were collecting our paychecks while we were working on our business. And as a result, we risked next to nothing to start our business. We didn't have to pay for a programmer. There were no real development costs. We did everything on the side, and so everything was pretty chill. 
Granted, it took a little bit longer, but we had peace of mind every step of the way as we were starting our business. Another myth is that starting a business is simply just going to cost too much money. And just speaking from experience, my wife and I started our online store spending only $629. And the main cost of that $629 was a digital camera and a computer. And the rest of it, about $300, was what we spent on our initial inventory for our online store. But realistically speaking, you can actually get started for as little as $5 a month. And the best part is that the overhead for maintaining an online store is actually extremely low. Now, if you look at our business today, even if sales were to grind to a halt, it would only cost us about $80 a month to maintain our store, which would allow us to weather any sort of downturn in the long run. Now, one of the myths also is that People think that starting an online store, they actually have to carry inventory. But one of the business models I'm going to talk about in a little bit is called drop shipping, where you actually don't have to carry inventory at all. You simply take orders on your website, and then the vendor is actually responsible for shipping the product to the end customer. Now, one of the other myths that I constantly hear about is that starting a website is too hard if you're not tech savvy. Now, back when my wife and I started, it was much harder than it was today. And honestly, today, starting an online store is so much easier than it was back in the past. You absolutely do not need any technical knowledge to begin. And the best part is all the software is written for you. Now, you basically have two options. One, you can actually find a web host and install a shopping cart yourself. And all the shopping cart software is free because of open source. Open source essentially means is that the software is free and the source code is essentially given out and maintained by the community. So Linux is an example of open source software and there's a whole bunch of open source shopping cart platforms out there for you to choose for free that are very robust. Now if you don't want to deal with the server or installing software or anything along those lines, there are actually companies out there like Shopify or BigCommerce that will essentially do everything for you. And those are called fully hosted platforms. And if you ever used one of these platforms, they actually allow you to design your website very easily. And some of them even offer a drag and drop interface with which you can just customize your store very graphically, which makes it very simple to get started. Now, my mini course is going to present you with all the different options for launching your online store website, depending on your technical skill and depending what you want to do. I've done all the shopping cart research for you. All you got to do is do a self-assessment of what you want to spend your time doing and then pick the appropriate platform for you. Uh, one other complaint that I also commonly hear is that I don't have enough time to start a business. Well, if you look at my life, I have two kids. I still work a full-time job. I run a blog. I run an online store. I run an online store course. And I also run a podcast. And those of you who know me know that I'm not Superman, and in fact, I'm quite lazy. For example, if I'm sitting on the couch watching TV and the remote is not next to me, there's no way in hell I'm getting up to get the remote. I'm going to watch the same channel for a long time. So the key that I found, being a lazy person myself, is to actually break tasks down into very small pieces that can be accomplished in 20 or 30 minutes. Do a little bit each day. Make working on your business a part of your routine and think in the long term. Now if you look at my e-commerce course today, it currently has over 200 plus videos spanning over 60 hours of material and no, there's no way in hell I could have done all that in one sitting. I did it gradually over time across several years. I basically just worked a little bit on it every single day and before you knew it, I had all this material to present to the class. Now one of the key things to keep in mind when it comes to time is you can't wait for that big block of time in order to begin. It doesn't exist. Break the problem into small, manageable chunks and then set aside a specific time every day to work on your business. It doesn't have to be a long time. I recommend just working on, working on your business for five hours a week. That's really all you need in the beginning. And once you do launch your online business, I can't tell you how exhilarating it feels. I still remember the joy of getting that first sale in our online store. I still remember stalking the customers who came on our website to, to see how they navigated our online store. I remember all the highs of, of when we got a whole flood of customers. I remember the lows when we first launched and we didn't have that many customers. But basically every single sale that we did achieve, 
I felt a tremendous sense of pride and accomplishment because I was my own boss. I got to set my schedule. I got to call the shots. And the best part is, is that our business provided financial security that no one could actually ever take away from us. Okay, and so hopefully with that, I've gotten you a little bit excited about starting your own online store. Now I'm going to switch gears a little bit and talk about the specific online store models that you can choose from. So I mentioned this earlier, but one of the business models is called dropshipping. And the way dropshipping works is that you put up your own website and you take orders. But instead of having to pack and ship the order yourself, the vendor is actually responsible for shipping the product to the end customer. And so what happens is you take an order and usually you'll fire off an email to the vendor and then they'll actually ship the, ship the product to the end customer as if they were your store. So the end customer doesn't know about the vendor at all. For all intents and purposes, the customer thinks that they made the purchase from you. This is called drop shipping. And one of the advantages is that you don't have to carry inventory and it makes your business very scalable because as the orders come in, you don't have to do the legwork of shipping and packing orders. Someone else is doing that for you. Okay. The downside, of course, is that the margins are going to be a lot lower. The margins for drop shipping typically are on the order of 10 to 30 percent. And oftentimes the vendor will charge you a drop shipping fee on a per order basis as well. Now, one of the other business models is the traditional model, which is where you sell other people's goods while carrying your own inventory. Okay, and one of the advantages of carrying your own inventory is that your profit margins are a lot higher. They're typically going to be on the order of 50%, which will allow you to make a lot more money per sale than with drop shipping. But of course, on the flip side, you do have to store your product and you do have to ship it to the end customer. But there are a bunch of third party fulfillment houses out there that you can use to actually act kind of like a drop shipper for you. Uh, the next business model is where you actually sell your own branded products. And this is essentially where you go out and you build products on your own, put your own brand on it, and then sell it as your own. Now, a lot of people are intimidated by this step, but it's actually not that difficult to do. Typically, what you can do is you don't really have to invent your own products. You can actually have existing products manufactured, put your own brand on them, and sell them as your own. And this practice is actually called white labeling. Another thing that you can also do is you can take an existing product, make a couple of slight tweaks to it, have it made, put your own brand on it, and then sell it as your own. And of course, when you're selling your own products under your own brand, the profit margins are going to be a lot higher, often as high as 90% or more. Okay, and finally, the final business model I want to talk about is selling as an affiliate. And the way affiliate marketing works is you have a website, and you actually refer a customer to another business where they actually make a purchase on the other business's website. And essentially when that happens, when you refer a customer over, you actually get a cut of the sale. And one of the advantages with affiliate marketing is when, when someone signs up on a referral from you, you don't even have to support the customer. After you've referred the sale, your job is done, all you do is collect the money and making it the simplest business model, e-commerce business model to pursue. But of course, on the flip side, the profit margins are the lowest among all the different types of e-commerce models out there. Now, if I were to put all these different models on a nice table and kind of measure the effort level versus the probability, drop shipping would rank kind of on, on the order of 7 out of 10 in terms of effort level. But in terms of profitability, it would be on the order of 3 out of 10 because the margins aren't that great. If you open a traditional store with inventory, the effort's going to be a little higher since you have to pack and ship orders in addition to, in addition to customer support, but the profitability is going to be much higher. I rate it as 7 out of 10 because your margins are going to be on the order of 50%. If you sell your own goods under your own brand, the effort level is that much higher because you have to manufacture your own goods and you have to worry about the logistics of buying products in higher bulk, but the profitability is off the charts. As I mentioned before, oftentimes the margins are going to be 90% or more, which will allow you to ramp up your profits that much faster. And finally, the affiliate sales model is kind of on the other end of the spectrum. It's the easiest model to pursue, but the profitability is also the lowest as well. When you're making between 5 and 10% per sale with affiliate marketing, you got to make a whole bunch of sales and you got to have a whole bunch of traffic going to your site in order to make significant money with affiliate marketing. 
So that's the end of this first lesson. And I hope it gave you a nice overview of all the different business models that you can pursue. And just remember, this is actually step zero of your six-day mini course. In the subsequent lessons, I'm going to show you how to research a profitable niche, how to find vendors to sell you products at cost. I'm going to show you how to launch your own branded website uh, using open source software. And I'm going to teach you how to accept credit cards online. Essentially everything that you need to launch an online store from complete scratch. So stay tuned for the following lessons and I hope you enjoyed the lesson.